Yeah. Well, so I had a question from the last group that uh, last podcast I did. So do you think CrossFit, so do you think CrossFit needs to do a little bit more for quarterfinals to make it more exciting for people that are in quarterfinals, like towards like the bottom part of quarterfinals to kind of do it and like, you know, kind of like almost like do like an open announcement, but for quarterfinals. What did they say? Well, they said no. So they said they you're, they're better off have like having like Savannah or like some other group to to do it themselves because it's it's almost like picking favorites when it comes to CrossFit. If they say like okay, well, let's get like Daniel Brandon and like somebody like in somebody else like you know, and they're like high up there, so they just gotta you know. Wait, so what was the question again? Like you you want CrossFit to do like a a live almost open? like an open announcement for like quarterfinals. Or should they do it? How would they do that? I don't. Well, maybe like one day, like one one of the workouts or like one week, and they just have like you know a couple group, like two groups of people, to do one workout, would, uh, and then they do another workout. That would require the athlete to like again, like have the balls to be able to put their score out there. True, that's a big ask. But not yeah. even not even the balls, I would say, but also like at that stage, you really need to do your best, and so to just kind of do the workout on the spot when it's announced, whereas the open, it doesn't matter as much, but you kind of want more prep time to see all the workouts to coordinate what you're going to do when get a game plan not just like kind of hit it on the spot unless you're like obviously like someone like tia who will smash no matter what but you know what i mean yeah so, logistically that wouldn't work because Lindsay's right like yeah. like even like taylor and 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 then they did work out four first right mm -hmm. so it's like they you gotta you gotta be smart about the workouts you choose to do and stuff like that but no no yeah. i'm in the boat where like I, like Dude, I don't give a fuck about the bottom 25%. Dude, if you if, if the workout starts with a fucking 300 pound clean and jerk, like pfft, tough luck. I got it. Yeah. I got Agreed it. With yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tough luck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, I I when they did had the announcement saying that they were it's gonna be for like people that aren't in the quarterfinals and it's enough like they could do it in class. I was like, shit, this is not gonna be good and then i saw like the wall ball like burpee box overs and i'm like i could i could literally see like a boatload of people not even making it past that first round if that yeah i mean a lot of people kind of got stuck in that in that mid second round i would say the majority of them i love sick workouts like that i love grindy gross workouts that no one wants to do i'm like i'm good i like that <laughs> that workout left me the most sore for sure yeah, same. Yeah. I, you know what? Mike saved me actually because I was all prepared to do workout two before the gymnastics one and the clean and jerk one. And I'm like, nah, I'm like, this won't leave me sore. Like, I got this all day. I do this kind of stuff all the time. And I was talking to him about it. I'm like, nah, I'm doing, I'm doing the wall ball one today. He's like, do the gymnastics one. I'm like, nah, I'm doing wall balls. And then <laughs> I, got, I got to Ocean State and there are a lot of them actually were doing the gymnastics one. I'm sitting there. I'm like, Mike said, do gymnastics. I'm like, fine, I'll do the gymnastics one also today. And then, so I did the wall ball one. And afterwards I'm like, thank God, Mike. <laughs> oh, dude, I knew so that bad. was like, <laughs> wall balls fuck me up like i like just the they don't, don't usually for me they don't usually but i don't also push it that hard so. yeah, they always <laughs> fuck me like any if i ever do a wall ball workout that has like a hundred or more in them yeah they wreck me they wreck me so when i saw that this one was 150 i was like fuck i'm gonna push this one as as late as i can because it'll it would destroy me and it yeah. did. My quads, my quads are still a little sore. Same. And I did 120 wall balls today, like a dipshit. I was like, yeah. that was dumb. Like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not young anymore, man. My body doesn't recover. It doesn't bounce back. As oh, it. don't give me that shit. Don't I'm, give me dude, that I'm shit. I'm being honest, man. I'm being honest. I'm fucking almost 34 now. And, and like, I literally limp out of bed now for my first like 10 steps. I'm like, ugh, it's awful. <laughs> yeah. Wall balls always jack me up too. And I'm like, so like, I literally can like, throw the ball a couple inches and I'm already hitting the target. So, and, but the only thing is like, I know a lot of guys when they do wall balls, they throw like they throw the hands up to kind of relax. Yeah. I, I try to do that and I can't, I don't have enough time. I can't do that either. It, yeah. it messes up my tempo. I know like Falkowski is a big advocate of that method. I, I can't do that. Yeah. I've seen, I saw Ben Smith do it one time and I'm like, Oh, let me, let me try it. And I literally had the ball just uh, kiss me right in the face. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I can't do this. I think, I think they're like, their, their penises are a lot bigger too. So I think that ha that has to play a role in it somehow. <laughs> has well, to. 
Well, they don't call me tripod for nothing. Uh, <laughs> Stop it. You anyway. <laughs> you animal. Jesus Christ. Is, is it as thick as your mic stand? Is that, is that what you're it trying might, to tell my, It might be. It might be. Are well, I mean, I'm 6'6". Six, six, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> my computer's about to die, so I'm just trying to find your link in my email. <laughs> my oh, you're, you're good. You're good. So, so obviously, like, you know... Um, you know, the season's over for both of all three of us, pretty much. Oh, so I'm just going to sit here and cry now. Thank Thanks you. For the it, thank you. Yeah, sorry. Thank you so sorry. Much. <laughs> so so what, what are your expectations for going into next season? So like, are you looking to like work on anything at all? Or just like, is there some like certain skill you want to like target to attack for this yeah, year? I just, I, I just got to get fitter, man. I just got to keep getting fitter. Like, I mean, I don't really have any. I don't want to say I don't have any gaping weaknesses because I do, but if it comes down to like, I just got to get stronger and I just got to get my metabolic conditioning up. Like I can do the movements. I can do everything. Um, there's not ever a movement or a skill that I see where I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of just, I just have to get fitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably yeah. the same for Lindsay. Yeah, I feel very similarly. Um, my strength could use a little bit of work. Um, I do you can get a, a new back too, probably. Yeah, a new back would be great. New head would be great. And yeah, uh, yeah a little more condition, a little bit more strength. But um, I don't know if I have a season next year yet. We'll we'll see. She could also <laughs> learn how to fucking squat clean. Yeah, without peeing. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. Otherwise, yeah. you're gonna end up, otherwise, otherwise, knock on wood, you're going to need a new knee, girl. Those starfish. I know, man. Yeah. I know. It's fine. You're gonna Miranda old. There's like, honestly, honestly, Mike made a really funny. We have a funny video of Mike mimicking my my power <laughs> <I forgot laughs> It's So that. funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. So, mm -hmm. so Lindsay, are you looking to do any like masters competitions at all, or? God, call me old man. Uh, yeah, I'm so, four. Listen, I'm 44. So, uh, I mean, masters fitness collective, I will never do again. Sorry, not sorry. And um, didn't didn't they fuck up again this year? Like they couldn't. Pay I don't know. Them. I don't know. I don't care. I don't. Yeah, I'm done with that. So, um, what other masters comps are there really? I'm not masters yet. I'm the same age as Mike. So, um, I might. It depends on a few factors. Um, I might do that Wadapalooza, but there's no. Did you know there's no qualifier for that in Cali? I heard rumors. I mean, they never actually they DM me. I DM them. And I was like, yo, what's up with this? Cause it's, it's, and October. it's just first come first serve. Yeah. First come first serve. No elite division, just RX and scaled and open division. Elite, I, so elite is invite only. I don't know if there is an elite. Uh, there's oh, yeah. gonna be. They got to get, they have, they have to be. They That's have what to I would assume. So I yeah, would assume, weird. I would assume it's invite only for elite. Yeah. That's, um, silly. Yeah, that's whack. I mean, yeah. I might, I, I might not even be able to go anymore because um i guess the girlfriend's got a wedding a friend a friend who's having who's getting married the same day so we might have to have to just do that um which i'm okay with i guess because you know it's not like socal's going anywhere yeah i feel you i'm doing a comp uh in june oh my god what is it? yeah invictus boston's comp pardon me? oh yeah 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 that one yeah I'm wasn't doing that, that a black only comp don't you have to have certain colored skin to go to that what? <laughs> yeah, I'm being serious. Like I could have swore that they own that they only like the first year or two that it was only for like blacks. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking. Dude, about. I'm not even exaggerating. I could have swore. I got to look at that. That's interesting. Hey, you 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 you're something. You well, know? this was during like this was during all the like George Floyd stuff. I I have no idea. Honestly, I just went through my depressive phase in like a two day span when I knew my season was over for like the 80th time. So I thought my season was done 50 times. And uh, I just DM them. I'm like, yo, do you have any spots? I was like, I need a comp to look forward to. They're like, yeah, you got it. I'm like, thanks. Nice. <laughs> thanks so much. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah, no, I really didn't. I thought so. I wasn't cleared until two days before the open started. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's see what happens. And then it was all hinging. So I was like, okay, I'm I literally did a 300 meter row for workout two. I did a 300 meter row and I submitted my time because I couldn't pick a bar off the ground. And um, after we lost team quarters, we didn't, we didn't pass on. I'm like, okay, now my season's over again. And then I got the indie invite. I'm like, how am I top 25%? I didn't do a workout. So I thought my season was over like 20 different times this year. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. wild. That's yeah. Don't crazy. do a workout and you still make quarterfinals. I have a new, I have a new tactic now. I'm just gonna pick my least favorite and then just not do it and submit just a one rep score. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, I th that that actually happened. I think one in one of the opens. I uh, who was it? Um, uh, 
uh, what's her name? She won. She won the open once. She won the the games once, and her 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 husband's like the bro. Um, Camille. Yeah, Camille. So Camille I think, Leblanc, they bad yeah. That so one? I I think I there was one time she went team with um with a, I think it was uh, Cody Mooney. Um, oh, what's this? I'm having a brain fart. It was like um, Jess uh, Jess Griffith Griffiths, and like I think who else was it? Ben Smith's brother, um, oh, Alex Smith. What? So it was, it was those those four together, and and Camille only did like one rep during one of the open workouts. Slay, nice. And she made it. <laughs> yeah, and she placed in that in that team placed second in the in the uh, in the games that year. I remember. I remember she cried at the games when her rower wouldn't turn on. You remember that? Yep, I remember that. I saw that. Yep. Yeah, that was back in like 2011. That was yeah. That was super early. I wasn't even in CrossFit yet. So, so what ha- what happened? Did, like the judge not even like turn it on or? No, I just think it was a faulty rower. I just think it was a faulty rower. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yep. that sucks. But um, I had a question for both of you guys too as well. So, um, there's been a lot of girls on the elite division that are quitting, almost quitting, not like just like walking away. Yeah. Why are women mentally weak, Lindsay? Yeah. Why? Why? Well, why are you guys? So that's why I have Lindsay. So, so like so emotional and fragile. Why? Why did ba- Bailey Rail like <laughs> left this year? But well, left like a week, a couple days ago, and then Catherine left because I granted because due to was like back injury from what she no, was saying. No, emotional, fragile. She's fragile. And emotional. then like, and then obviously um, a couple of the girls like Mal O'Brien, Emma Carey. They're like, younger though. They're younger yeah. though. So I mean that that that. It happened. Well, Emma Emma was called by the Lord. Remember that she was called by the Lord. That was her. Yep, that was her reason. Yep. So. What I will say is, like you, Nate and I actually discussed this, and with um, Bailey, um, and what we kind of respect is like a lot of us, especially when we dedicate so much of our lives and time to the sport. It's it's kind of nice to see if there's something you're really really passionate about that you know, we can pursue other routes as well. And it's just CrossFit's not our sole identity. I think that's not a bad thing, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Do you think she's pregnant? You, oh, oh. Who, who Bailey? Yeah. Oh, shit. It's an interesting thought. Well, she was called by the Lord too, wasn't she? I I don't know. Um, I didn't I didn't well, read her her uh Yeah, she, I guess she she has some like foundation or organization that she was Yeah, in. well that's the and thing. She, she has like her new another like passion. She just episode. randomly decided right in the middle of the season that she wanted to do it. So I kind of thought that was a little sus, but maybe she is pregnant. I think that I, I I think there's a little something else. There has to be something else. But I I also want to make it clear like someone like like Mal like I don't give a fuck. Like if, if she doesn't want to do CrossFit anymore and she wants to go be like a teenager. and Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah ab- like, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Fucking do it. That's awesome. And she's killing it in, in Hawaii. Like her her videos of yeah, like her, honestly. raining it over, over in Hawaii are like getting awesome. sick views and just <laughs> living the best life ever. And I'm like, shit, like do your, go do it. Yeah. yeah. But I also, I also see the other side of it where like I get it if people are upset that like these – athletes are dropping out because at the end of the day like they want to see them compete and like they want to see them go out there and so like the selfish part of being a fan of the sport is you want to see the best athletes out there so if they're dropping out and you know people in the comments are like getting upset about it like i I understand that too yeah i I mean you could also consider of like uh, parents and they have their kids watching these athletes that are like killing it and they say hey you know this you know you could be like this too as well and then all of a sudden they drop out the next year after or or whatever and have like a mental breakdown or I, i'm not saying anybody had a mental breakdown but i'm just saying like any something happened and they're not they're not training or they're not going to like just to, to the open you know I think it's looks bad to too as well. That, like at least Haley and mal had mental breakdowns but at least yeah. Haley's back. Haley's back now. Yeah, I mean, be, being a teenager and being on social media, yeah, yeah, and that that's that's a lot. And even yeah. like people, even like people like calling them out all the time too. It's just like, uh, could you, yeah, li- like Lindsay? That. Could you? Yeah. Could you imagine how old is Mal? What is she like? 19? 18? 19, I think nineteen now. When did she sign? When did, when did she sign her deal with Noble? Do you know? Let's just say she was like 17 when she signed that deal. Lindsay, could you imagine as a 17-year-old? No, I know. 
Nope. Nope. I, someone, I heard a rumor of what she was offered by Noble, and it was fucking some wild amount of money. Like, could you imagine Lindsay being 17 years old, signing a deal for like something close to a million dollars? No, no. But also, here's also where I chime in is that also when I was at that age, I don't know if it's just the female in our brains or whatever, but it's such a hard time of life also mentally and about yourself that like that's just so that's so much to take on and never mind like the social media aspect of everything so i don't know i don't i don't judge anything i guess i mean well, girls, yeah, it, girls mature yeah. faster than guys including their bodies yeah yeah which is part of the reason why we don't see any uh hiller hiller had to ask slap me around about it when we were on the podcast on savant's podcast together um, it's part of the reason why you see uh, more females, fifteen or not fifteen, 15 16, 16, 16, 17, making sorry, me. Sorry, sorry, oh, you're good. sorry. You're but good. yeah, that's that's okay. why you see like 15, 16, 17 year old females making it into the open division at the games, and you don't see that for the men because yeah, you know the women just develop faster. Yeah. Yeah, I I, there, there, I know there's a kid that won the games this year. He's going uh, individual now. Um, Team kid, Ty Jenkins. Yeah, Ty Jenkins. Yeah, and I've I've heard about him a couple of years ago too. And so yeah, your girl uh, Jessica Griffith um, coaches him. Yeah. So do you do you think he's gonna like? Obviously, he's young. He probably needs to like. Do I do think he's gonna make it this year? No. Yeah. No. Do you do you think it's because like he, he needs to hit lift more or what? what do you, why do you think that? I just, it's just the like I, the, the men are just far too competitive. Like not not to take too much away from the women, but it's the men's field is just it's 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 more competitive than than the females. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously the the females now are like there's like 12, 12 people from the games of last year aren't even going to be there. Yeah, that too. Not I even going to second I think fourteen of them dropped out. Yeah. So, I mean, at least the good thing is there's some people that are on the bubble or can get at least get into semifinals and maybe have a shot. Yeah, yeah especially with the cuts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Is he so. is Ty in the West or is he in the East? I, I don't know. Because if he's in the East, then yeah, fucking no, he ain't making it. Yeah. He might have moved to Iowa. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I feel like a lot of the females are like, that are um very competitive in the sport at least in the ones that have been not necessarily all the ones that have been dropping out but they're kind of around our age you kind of get to that point you get married you start thinking about kids especially as a female that that's where i'm at next you know that's why i might not have a season next year you know what i mean so i feel like that kind of happens naturally especially for females once we get a little bit older you kind of have to take those breaks you know so yeah i mean i could i could see that i mean because you know crossfit's not the end all be all so yeah you want to have a life and do yeah. stuff so yeah